Editing 4K 60fps GoPro footage in my iPhone, that's gonna be fun. The application that I'm going to use on my iPhone XR to edit the 4K 60fps footage from my GoPro Hero 7 Black is going to be LumaFusion. In my personal opinion, LumaFusion is the best video editing application for mobile devices, especially for iOS devices. It's super fast, super snappy, and it's just amazing. Let's see how this application handles 4K 60fps for my GoPro Hero 7 Black. So I already imported some uh, videos for my GoPro, as you can see. And it says here 3840 by 2160. That means it's a 4K. First of all, we're gonna create a project, 24 frames per second or 23.98 frames per second. We're gonna name the project, uh, I don't know, test. Now we have a project. We have a timeline here. We have all our tools here, the footage and the monitor. So let's take, for example, this footage and we're gonna scrub to an interesting moment somewhere around here. And then we're gonna end it, let's see, just revealing the sun here, something like that. And we're gonna import this to the timeline. Now we have this footage. Because this is 4K 60 FPS, I'm also going to slow it down because I want it to be in slow motion. So I'm gonna go to speed and reverse. I'm gonna go and speed it down to 40%. And now we have this footage. I'm gonna remove the sound because I don't need the sound. And this is what we have so far. And look how smooth it scrubs to the footage. I mean, it's a little bit choppy because again, it's 4K 60 FPS. But still, it handles it better than my laptop. It's so snappy. And let's say, for example, if I want to color grade this clip, I can do that too. I'm gonna go to color and effects, click on original. And because I shot this clip in flat picture profile, let's add a little bit of contrast, a bit of saturation here, a bit of vibrant. Then we're gonna remove, we're gonna reduce the highlights and increase the shadows to get back some detail from the trees. And you can also see before and after. Really quick a color correction here. We also can import music here from Storyblocks. I already downloaded some songs. I'm gonna add this song here. Okay. And you can edit this uh, sequence to the song. So let's just edit the sequence to the beat. Okay, now let's add more clips and create a short little sequence with the footage. I have here some footage of bikes, of my bike. Remove the audio because we don't need the audio. And let's do a quick color correction original add a bit of contrast a bit of saturation a bit of vibrance remove the highlights and i think also we need to remove the shadows here let's see somewhere around here and we're going to add a bit of contrast again before and after before and after and also using this application you can add lots which I already have here for my GoPro, but I'm not gonna use them now. But if you want, you can create LUTs in DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, or Premiere Pro, import it to Google Drive, and then download it to LumaFusion and use those LUTs. All right, let's see what we got so far. Okay, we can also make it a big screen if we want to. Second clip is a little bit too long, so we're gonna shorten it. Let's see how it looks now. Okay, now we're gonna add another footage, maybe of some trees or something, or this place around the beach. By the way, this is not how you're supposed to color correct everything. Usually I take a little bit more time 
I just want to quickly show you what you can do with this application. Again, before, flat, and after, saturated and beautiful. Okay, here already, can chop it to here, and maybe put another bicycle shot that I have. Let's see my bicycle. By the way, unfortunately, at the moment you cannot do speed ramping with this application, but it should come in future updates. If this application would have speed ramping, I would definitely use a lot of speed ramping at the moment. And now I'm seeing that this shot is actually a little bit not straight, so we can go and reposition it if you want to. First thing that I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit, just a pinch, and then we're going to rotate somewhere here no just like that it's going to be much more comfortable to use this application obviously with an ipad with the apple pencil but you can also use the iphone no problems i've edited a lot of videos uh, with my iphone with luma fusion and it's been really amazing All right, this is the clip for today. And let me just scrub through the footage and see how it works. And also remember that I am screen recording all this. So it's gonna put a lot more uh, pressure on the CPU and the GPU of the iPhone. So that's why maybe it's choppy a little bit as you can see. Maybe if I will disable the screen recording, it will be smooth. But in my personal opinion, it's smoother than on my laptop, which is really powerful. You can see and if it was 1080p footage 4k 24 frames per second footage it would uh, edit to the footage like butter all right i guess this is it for today guys if you want me to make tutorials on how to use luma fusion let me know down below i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one peace out